Proving a trigonometrical identity uh, for further maths GCSE. This is the last question on a further maths paper um, that's non-calculator. These sort of questions, um, when you get to do them at A-level maths, are they're, they've got a steep learning curve. So there's a lot of, of learning to look, to do to be able to do all the different types of questions that like that are like this. But this is a nice, relatively straightforward one aimed at this um, further maths GCSE. So the first thing we should be aware is on our front of our test paper we are given these two identities so we need those to help us do this. So we're going to prove this side is equal to this side. We're going to start with the more complicated side and um, rearrange it and stuff to try and get this same thing. So we're going to start with tan theta plus 1 over tan theta. Okay now that's equal to, well tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. So let's rewrite that as sine theta over cos theta. Okay, and 1 over tan theta is the reciprocal of sine theta over cos theta, which is cos theta over sine theta. Okay, now we've got to try and add these fractions together. So um, we're going to have a common denominator of cos theta sine theta. I'm actually going to write it because the answer is in sine theta cos theta. I'm actually going to write it that way around, hopefully relatively neatly. So we're going to have sine theta cos theta. So we've times those together. So this one. Um, to make it sine theta cos theta, I've got times the bottom by sine theta, so I times the top by sine theta. Now sine theta times sine theta is sine theta squared. Now we write that as a little 2 there. That means the same as, let's just put that over there for, I'm not sure if you're used to this notation, but sine theta squared can be written more simply with a little 2 there. That's what that means. Okay, so... Um, this one, we've got sine theta on the bottom, so we need to times by cos theta, and cos theta times by cos theta is cos squared theta, or cos theta squared. Okay, so we're nearly there, we've got the bottom right, and then the top, um, we should really say stuff like since um, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. So we're stating the rule we're using, that's always helpful if we're trying to prove something. Um, this is equal to 1 over sine theta cos theta. And there we go, three marks. 